Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Level M Diecast here, bringing you something that is not only new, hot off pegs, um, although this sits on the shelf. It is also something new to the channel. We don't, we don't typically do stuff in small scale here. Uh, so this is something brand new from Jada. This is their Nano Scene. Um, this goes along with their uh, Nano Hollywood Rides kind of thing that they've been doing. They've done some other stuff, so... Picked up a couple of the um, Fast and Furious packs just to throw with our little deal here. We're going to take a look at that. Um, so we're going to do this uh, straight up real time. This is uh, Toretto's house. Uh, this is probably one of the most iconic houses in film uh, these days. And uh, it is a real house in real life. And uh, it's where, you know, majority of the movies take place. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. There is the back deets. Made in China, of course, does come with the Charger and the Supra, Brian's Supra. Um, and then it comes with a couple accessories for the backyard. So this thing is uh, kind of compacted. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be a platform pieces and stuff you kind of put together, but that's essentially the way it should look. Um, don't know exactly how this is done up, but uh, we don't need to keep the box, so we're just going to see. We've got a tape on the top here. So opens up from the top, little tabs on the side here, put the tabs up, get those tabs pulled up, fold back the plastic on all sides, should just come right out, there we go. Nothing else in the box, does come with a bag of parts. This is your bag o day parts. Should be relatively simple on how this goes together. This is the house itself. Comes on a piece of plastic here. Or I'm sorry, cardboard. Uh, little tabs to tell you how to unlock it. Literally unscrews. Like literally. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how this pops out of here once we get these unscrewed. So it's like just going for days. So there you go. The house comes right off. The two cars included are uh, blister sealed to the cardboard. So pull that up and bring those guys out. There we go. Okay. Uh, nothing else. Uh, just the rest of this is cardboard. Same with this little piece here. So that should all be uh, landfill material, uh, unfortunately. So... Very dusty, very dirty. These are the cars that come with it. This is Brian's Supra. Uh, don't know if this has come in the single pack before, but uh, you know this is not something I really do. But I picked these up because I wanted to um, the the packs, the individual packs I picked up because I wanted to uh, I kind of put them with the whole diorama. There are the deets on the bottom. It is all metal, so this is an actual die cast uh, car with little little tiny wheels on the side. Looks pretty decent. Uh, this is the charger, uh, which is literally just a miniature version of like their 124 scale charger, which is a really terrible casting. Look at the engine. The engine is crooked in there. <clears throat> there we go. It's, it's pretty loose in there. There we go. Get it uh, centered. And then just the same deets. All your licensing information. They do roll relatively well. This one kind of, this one rolls really good. Uh, but this one kind of like drags. I don't know if it's dragging wheels or what. All right, so here is Toretto's house. Uh, this is all one piece, solid piece all together. So it's not configurable in that uh, aspect. So the garage is fixed as well. So this is our bag of parts. Doesn't look like we had any instruction book. Uh, maybe it shows it underneath the box, but... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do this on our own. So this part is the kind of under the garage um, section in the back here. So this... Oh, garage comes off. There you go. So this snaps onto here to make your backyard. Just pushes right down on there. A couple little tabs. Boom, boom. You take your garage which is this, which does have a opening barn door, which looks pretty nice. Little tiny platform in there for the actual 
charger to sit on, but it's just for the charger. So I wonder if this has some kind of a, doesn't look like it has any kind of an action feature or anything like to shoot it out. So that's a good thing. Uh, push the garage right down on there. Looks pretty decent. This is your driveway leading up to the top here. So that just slides right on there. Um, and I want to point out there is great, great texture on these. That looks really, really good. That looks like really good kind of worn concrete. It's a very, very nice look to it. Um, I actually really like that. John did a really good job. Um, even the texture for the lawn looks pretty good. So I'm actually quite impressed about that. The house looks fantastic, of course. Um, everything is all fixed and glued into place. Um, I don't believe that this comes up. This is just a separate piece, um, but it doesn't come apart. Uh, no batteries or anything like that. It doesn't do anything fancy. Um, it's seriously meant to be a little diorama scene. And then, of course, there is the back. Looks pretty good. Last piece is the street, which also looks very good. Looks like uh, uh, asphalt, which is pretty nice. Again, just snaps right underneath. Well, not even snaps. It just, it's just friction. So there you go. There is the completed uh, base sane. Looks pretty good. Uh, sidewalk is pretty small down here, but there is a ledge on the actual house. So this is accurate. Although there's not really like a curb per se to, to hold the car, but that looks pretty good. Driveway's relatively decent. I think the charger is too small. This um, e this um, Eclipse. This uh, Supra looks relatively scaled to the house, but the charger is definitely too small. Um, you can tell just by the size of those two together. Uh, the charger is way, way too small. These are the little accessories it comes with. This is the uh, barbecue and the seats. Holy cow, look at that. They're actually individual seats individual chairs that is crazy so you just set your little chairs back here here's a little tiny table the table and chairs are are different material i mean they're all plastic but uh the table is like a much better quality plastic than the chairs so and those chairs are just ridiculously small just ridiculously small it's very hard to figure out Getting them all the direct way. And then here is your barbecue. Just a little bit of grill detail on the top. Um, does not open. It is molded open like that. So it is fixed. It's just a static piece. You just set back there. There is your barbecue scene from the back. It's kind of everybody standing around waiting for Brian to come roll up. So what we're going to do is... We're just going to kind of, this will slide just like that. And charger just rolls up in there. You close the barn door. Like I said, there's nothing to actuate. There's no buttons. There's no thing you push down. Uh, it just, it doesn't come out. So you kind of have to move the whole diorama for it to come out, which in some aspects, I actually kind of like that because it's not meant to be a playset. At least I don't think it's supposed to be a playset, but um, the, the chairs are terrible. Like, you're going to lose the chairs. So we'll get the charger hanging up in there. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and crack open uh, one of these packs. Actually, we're going to crack both of these packs. But we're going to start with this one because it's the charger and we're a little biased here. We like being biased. This is from uh, Furious 9. So this comes with the Supra. So there is your Supra decked out for Han. Looks actually pretty decent. Not too bad for uh, its itty bitty scale. Does have the Toyota logo on there, which is super difficult. Base Deets. Always checking out the Base Deets. It does come with the uh, modified Jeep Gladiator as well. So kind of nice to get some truck flavor. Again, Pretty good casting, looks pretty decent. You know, it's micro scale. And they're riveted together just like your standard die cast, which I think is interesting. But they're pretty good details. Uh, but then, of course, I think the best one of them all, probably. Uh, this is the uh, Charger Widebody. The stripes on there, this one looks pretty good. 
Deets on the back. Says Dodge. No, uh, no front tampos on it. Just, uh, just the stripes. So we'll throw him down there. And then we got this one, which is uh, a little weird, but uh, I had to get it because this has Brian's uh, white Supra because we had to have that one. I think there might be one more Fast and Furious mix, but uh, I'm, I'm not able to find it, unfortunately. These, these are the ones I'm kind of limited with that I was able to pick up. So we'll slide these out. This is the Lycan Hypersport. Just kind of average. Definitely looks like it's, you know, a Lycan Hypersport, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then, of course, the Ice Charger. So this is not based on the, you know, Jada uh, bigger scale. They just did their own thing here. And so this one actually looks uh, nice and proportionate. So that looks pretty good. And then, of course, here is Brian's uh, white Toyota Supra factory. Looking pretty sweet. Nice wheels on there. Comparatively to the uh, race Supra. So they are definitely... Uh, completely different castings between each other. They are definitely made independently from each other. So you can tell. But that's good. We like that. So let's set up our little scene here real quick. We'll just take a look at it. So we'll say... Uh, um, so Dom will probably have his secondary charger hanging out with the first charger. And then he'll have you know the last charger chilling right there. He has his little, his little trifecta. And... Uh, you know, Brian's going to give a little bit of a stance for his two Supras hanging out. And then, of course, New Age Han Supra. Um, and then, of course, you can have your Jeeps and your Lycan Hypersports chilling up there with Tyrese and Luda. They could be driving those. So there you go. That is the uh, scene. That looks pretty good. I like the way that that looks. I think that um, if Jada is smart, which I don't know if they will be, but hopefully they will. Uh, but if they're smart um, and they do all the original Fast and Furious cars, they do. They could even do the Maxima. They don't have to do the Maxima, but they could. Uh, but definitely the Jetta, the uh, R33, absolutely. The Eclipse, um, even Mia's Integra would be nice. That would be a good mix. Um, they can do Jaw Rules. Uh, actually, Jaw Rule has the Integra, I think. Mia has the S14, I think. Uh, maybe S15. I'll have to go back and look. You guys got to remember. Original Fast and Furious is 21 years old. So remember that. The original Fast and Furious is now old enough to drink. So there you go. That is the nano scene from Jada Toys for Fast and Furious. Uh, I don't know what this will bring. I don't know what other kind of scenes they will do. Um, I would assume they're probably going to be based around their nano machine cars here. So maybe Jurassic Park. Maybe... Uh, gi joe or something like that back to the future maybe but for starters they did a fantastic job i think this one's excellent looks very good just chilling and being a diorama very very nice um, let me know what you guys think about that let me know if you think that looks cool uh this retails for $19.99 at target um, i have not found this anywhere else but if you want to get this it is at target and then of course the individual packs retail for $5.99 so there you go Definitely let me know your thoughts. Definitely interested on that because uh, I think this is pretty fantastic. I highly recommend it. Uh, for a static display, obviously this is not this is not a play toy. Um, although if you want to buy it for your kids, definitely do it. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Level in Dacast. Peace.